Now let's uh, model the fuse. To do this, we'll take the geometry we built so far, go spacebar B, spacebar B to go to a right view. And we're going to get the C geometry curve, which is a Bezier style curve. And we're going to click and drag to, to, to send off the first, place the first point and set the direction. We're now going to go out here and click drag to get the second point. And now we want to turn on grid snapping and we're going to snap to these two points to get the look that we want there. Press spacebar B, spacebar B to go out here where we see our uh, the curve snap to the ground. We're now going to turn on the construction plane instead of using grid snapping. And the construction plane will allow us to work on the ground and draw the rest of this curve. And if we don't have the construction plane on, the curve will be sort of floating weirdly in space. So it's better to have the construction plane on that second button at the top. And then we can place the last few points. Uh, when we finish, press Enter. And we can click on the Edit mode here if we want to go back and tweak any of these and get a, you know, just a slightly different look for the drawing of the curve. So we're not stuck with what we drew in the first place. So once we have that, we're going to press Tab Reverse. Uh, this We drew this curve going in one direction and we sort of need it in the opposite direction for animation down the line. We're going to look at the points and we see the points are sort of floating in space. So we're going to go tab resample and we're going to go point zero two five and we're going to get a whole bunch of points on this curve that will just help us with that. We don't need to see the points again. We're going to go tab poly wire and this poly wire will pick up that topology on the curve and we can set the number of divisions to 8 and the wire to 0 0.0075 and press L to organize the network over here and we need to put the reverse up above the poly wire that would work better So now we have the uh, 3D shape for the fuse, which we will now put a transform node. So the curve was written, uh, was built on the ground. So what we want to do is we want to move that up so that it's sitting on the ground, which means that we're going to take whatever that parameter is and we're going to put this in Y, we're going to go right click, paste relative values, and there's some reason there's this the zero still there, let's get rid of the zero, and that will move, um, move us up by the radius value. So now we're sitting, we've got the fuse sitting on the ground. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put down a blast uh, node. And if we look at the numbers on this, the end of here is, is zero. So we can go onto here and just say, let's get rid of zero. Uh, and that will get rid of that sort of end piece right there. And then we can go tab normal. This will just fix the normals on the geometry, make sure they're in good shape. And then we're going to go tab null to create an output node for this geometry. We're going to call this fuse out. And there we go. So that's the basic shape of the geometry uh, that we need for the fuse. And now we can go back up to the object level and just give that a name. We'll call that fuse underscore geo. And we'll use this as the basis for the animated fuse down the line.